Protests in Paris. Hide your hoverboard. School of Rock, Tampa style. Welcome back, plant. I'm Joe. And I'm Michael. We hope you all had an awesome break, but it's Monday, November 30th, so we're back and better than ever. Also, we're not your average average news news team. marched worldwide yesterday to demand action to stop climate change, the day before a UN summit starts in Paris. However, due to the state of emergency in Paris after the recent attacks, many protests were canceled, encouraging thousands of those who planned on marching to simply leave their shoes instead, including a pair from the Pope. One campaign group says more than 570,000 protesters took part in marches on all the main continents. That right there is some good teamwork. Another team took the fun out of getting around town as it is now against the law to ride a hoverboard in New York City. The state of hoverboards, or self-balanced scooters, has the state lawmakers puzzled on how to regulate them as they are technically motorized vehicles and people tend to use them, just like cyclists on the sidewalk. New York's officials made their stance official in a tweet last Monday that read, be advised that the electric hashtag hoverboard is illegal. But don't worry, hoverboarding New Yorkers. It's the NY- if the NYPD comes after you, you can always just fly away. Except that they're not the back to the future kind of hoverboards, so flying is not an option. On the local front, a group of kids from Tampa Bay is probably cooler than you'll ever be. These kids, all under the age of 11, have started a band called Beyond Chaotic, featuring their own songs and instrumentals. The six band members met at a rock band camp over the summer, and they're pretty adorable. Check out this video. Hey, I'm in the yearbook. Oh, snap. (laughs) But where's Jack Black? Too busy checking out these school announcements. Over the break, we had some pretty <laughs> sorry. We had some pretty cool athleticism coming out of plant. Mr. Nelson, Miss Melnick, and Miss Rainbow competed in a blow-up obstacle course 5K and apparently crushed it. Or at least they finished it, which counts, right? And our unified <laughs> basketball team faced some tough competition during break. They lost to Plant City, but emerged victorious versus Bloomingdale. Way to go, team. Tomorrow is your last chance to submit your Earth Day art show poetry, music, photography, or drama skit posters to Miss Gepper in room 215. The Plant High School Poetry Jam is scheduled for December 9th at 8.30 in the Media Center. If you want to participate but haven't signed up yet, see Mr. Penn in the Media Center or your English teacher for more information. There will be an AP Chem Lab re- Chem Lab review starting at 7.15 tonight in room 11B with Miss Tate. And speaking of science, a group of PHS students participated in the 2015 Science Bowl. TV2's Jackie Maldonado went to check out the event. Check it out. The Science Bowl is basically just a test of how well we know the information and how well we can apply the information. Uh, We compete in four events, the uh, problem solving event, the quiz bowl event, the chemical reactions balancing event, and the desktop trebuchet building event. Uh, I'm part of the trivia team. I just answer random science questions. I'm in quiz bowl, so basically we see a question, we hit a button, we answer. We're doing logic puzzles and trebuchet building competitions problem solving and the trebuchet competition. We've generally done very well either placing first or second um, for the past five years. So uh, we're, we're expecting to do that well again today. Look around at these other teams. They have nothing on them. <laughs> I can tell right now their trebuchets are going to be bad. Keep up the great work. 
Tomorrow starts a round of town hall meetings for all underclassmen to start the process of picking classes for next year. The yearbook staff wants to remind you that yearbooks will only be on sale for a limited period of time. It's the only way to ensure your copy and to not pay double the price. Word on the street is that the book is looking pretty amazing this year. That's the word on the street. Attention all Zeta girls, go on Edsby to sign up for December service projects. Tis the season to do service. And to all the Kiwi girls, pick up a form to volunteer at Winter Wonderland from Miss Green by December 3rd. PHS Chorus is getting ready for its 21st annual magical show. This year's theme is the ogre and the princess. Go to showclicks.com and search Plant Chorus to reserve your ticket. Last but not least, it's the week of pro the progress report. They will, be ready they will be distributed on Friday, so get ready. <laughs> That's all for school announcements, but listen up for a Motivational Monday speech from our favorite, Will Smith. Will Smith. Hey, don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream, you got to protect it. That's it for today, Plant. Have a great first day back. The countdown starts now. 21 days till Christmas.